What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another pack review slash breakdown, right? So we are going to be doing training guides and specific player reviews on some of these cards uh, just to get a couple of clips and stuff. I will be doing that later on my live stream, so make sure you check out that if you want. But listen, when you've played the game as long as I have and you know exactly what type of players they are, um, it's very easy to see what are going to be beastly players and what are going to be busts, right? So obviously there are exceptions to the rule, but mostly if you've got good levels and you can hit certain points with the stats for the type of player that they are, they are going to be either very strong or they're going to be just not good enough. And there's a couple of mid-game players in here. I would say that these four guys, five guys at the back, Klosterman is actually a very unique one. We'll get to him in a second. But these four here, Wilson, Vidal, Burge, and uh, Levak Levakovic? Levakovic. These four are just kind of average enough, uh, especially if you've been playing the game for a while. Yes, they do have fairly high levels. Um, Wilson has got standard form, which at the moment is a bit of a pity. He does have first time shot, but as a goal poacher, he doesn't really have anything else, including balance, that is going to make him, you know, be an absolute beast. Now, as I said, he does have 36 levels to go, right? So when you've got a player, just for example, that has 36 or 34 or 35 levels to go, you can obviously train him in in a very specific way, especially if you want to really double down on his acceleration and his offensive awareness. I mean, you can put 12 into that and go to 88 on both of those and have 78 in the balance. It's not bad, um, but then where else he falls down is even though you can get 88 finishing, which isn't bad, his dribbling just for a run and gun goal poacher is a little bit, in my opinion, too... Um, Look, you can get it to the 80 with the ball control and the dribbling. It's not bad. I put him kind of in a similar position to uh, Oshiman, um, except he doesn't have the pay, uh, the strength. But he is a good card. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's just the problem is, is that there's so many cards like this now on the marketplace um, that you are able to get. Yes, he's got really high speed, acceleration, and offensive awareness with finishing, which is quite nice and kind of Romario-esque. But his player skills, I think, are a little bit lacking. And also the fact that he doesn't have that balance a little bit higher is a little bit of an issue, as well as no aerial threat if you are playing a two-man center forward up front. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. These players, if you're starting off, like Wilson will be a big improvement on whoever you have, especially if you've got a standard center forward. I mean, obviously these players are going to be good. But when you're putting these guys in comparison to how long the game has been out now, and the game has epics and legends, and you know, a lot of people have got really in form center forwards that are just beastly players it is kind of hard um to kind of recommend a lot of these guys the same could be said for this guy burge um this guy is a young player obviously he's only 24 he's a box to box which i always like his defensive skills and defensive um side of the game is really nice even though he's got standard form he's got really high defensive stats as a box to box which i always like it kind of puts him into the goretzka mold which is something that i would definitely be interested in um his dexterity for his acceleration his balance and offensive awareness aren't too bad if you're playing a defensive player um if we take a look at him here as a box to box and he's just going to be covering a lot of ground lads that's basically what a box to box does just being an average player across the pitch and covering a lot of ground as much as you possibly can so i mean you do need high speed and stamina for that defensive style of, of the gameplay or else you could just pop a few more into defense there if you want you know a double touch one touch pass and interception with aerial superiority and heading he's a giant in midfield as well um he can play dmf and amf so yeah a very unique player and way better than the standard card that they released so yeah there are a couple of hidden gems in here um obviously goalkeeper is just going to be your standard goalkeeper and then of course we have vidal who is just way too slow for that destroyer role yes he can play as a kind of a dmf holding dmf but his form is inconsistent i would also say the same about lukaku his inconsistent form, lads, is just not good enough. I mean, it's just not good enough. Even though he can be a bit of a beast, there are way better players in the standard GP marketplace than him. Um, well, I'd also put Laporta in there, right? Even though he's got fairly high stats, he doesn't have blocker. He doesn't have acrobatic clearance. Um, he has got interception, area superiority, heading, and man marking, and weighted pass and sliding tackle. But that standard form, again, is a bit of a killer on him, and he doesn't reach those heights that he possibly should. I mean, he hasn't had a really a really really strong card i think um so i definitely think there are better center backs than him there's probably about five center backs that i will do a video on that you should just definitely be buying um the same can be said about shahanalu as well this guy very very slow on the ball excellent pace excellence or excellent um, ability on the ball but that inconsistent form doesn't make up for it 
He doesn't have double touch. He doesn't, doesn't have one touch pass. He can play a lot of different positions. I actually really like playing him on the right mid because you can slow everything down and just like put lovely balls in with that pinpoint cross and true passing away to pass. Um, he also has early crosser, but he is extremely slow if you're not used to playing with players that are quite slow. So that is just something to keep in mind, right? Now, I will take a look at Klosterman, right? And we'll take a look at the other two after that. But Klosterman is a very unique player, right? He's got a wavering form, which is huge. He also has blocker, interception, area superiority, acrobatic clearance, and heading. He has man marking as well. He doesn't have sliding tackle, which isn't a massive concern for a player like this because look at his acceleration and pace, right? Now, a lot of people are going to probably play this guy as a right back, and I would say that that's probably the right option for him, right? Because we do have insane speed, acceleration, and defense capabilities for a right back there, even though he won't get the play style because he's down as an extra front man, which activates a CB. So I do think that he is a very good right back, um, which means you don't need as much defense, right? You can just kind of concentrate on, on other aspects of the game. This is a center back build of him. You've got 85 tackling, 85 defensive awareness, and then 88 speed with 87 acceleration. It's probably too much speed and acceleration. You know, you don't need that much. The reason why I've gone so high is because you're not going to get the tackling or any of the defensive stats really into the 90s. Even if you take all of these off, you're only going to get 89 on defensive awareness, and you're going to have 79 acceleration with 83 speed, which is decent. You still have good aerial ability, um, but it's not kind of goaded aerial ability, if that makes sense. Even if you go one more on the defense and get to the 90 with the tackling, you still have a fairly solid player, but you've only got 78 defensive engagement. So I would definitely say um, if you are playing him as a kind of like a 3-5-2 center back, right? That he can play as a right back, but he's really playing as a tuck-in center back um, and you can attack with your other option. I mean, you've got a very defensive-minded uh, player there with the player skills, and then you can really just pump up his dexterity, and you can also pump up a little bit of his uh, speed to get that to 90, which will be really, really nice. And of course, the dribbling, if you want to put that on, you can, um, just to go a little bit of, uh, a bit of bit more with that. That's a very solid right back. He's an 88 overall, but I do think, yeah, he is kind of one of those players that it's just going to be pure blistering pace is what you're going to be using from him. Zelinski is a very similar player to the card that they already released. This one, it's very similar card, 25 levels. This guy's got 28 levels, multiple versions of Zelinski. It ties up exactly with this Napoli one, apart from the offensive awareness on this Napoli card is, is plus three better with defensive or tight possession is minus three. Everything else is identical on the card. They're both whole players. They both have the same levels. Um, they both have unwavering form. Can go into the mid 80s and acceleration and balance. And then, of course, high 80s to 90s with the attack stats, with the pass and the dribbling. Very solid card. And then last but not least, we have Cristiano. So finally, Cristiano is getting a bit of love. He's getting a few cards out. Obviously, we all want legend Ronaldo. We want legend Ronaldo with, um, you know, maybe prime legend Ronaldo that has got like, you know, 90 acceleration, 90 dribbling, and maybe 90 finishing would be the ultimate for him. Maybe he gets an ultimate, like, you know, best of card. Uh, and I think he definitely deserves one, man, as a, as a, as a GOAT. Him and Messi are definitely the GOATs of, uh, of my age growing up. Um, and I think he should be showing the same love. But for now, we've got this card, which is very, very similar to this player of the week card when you train him up, right? It's actually better a little bit, um, depending on how you train him up. But I mean, this is a very solid card, especially in the air because he's got heading. He's also got long range shooting, acrobatic finishing and fighting spirit, which is a kind of unique center forward build for a goal poacher. 81 tight possession with 82 ball control, 86 finishing with 84 header and then 91 kick and power with 91 jump and 80 acceleration. And even though the balance is low, lads, that 93 offensive awareness you're kind of going to be playing him like your big target man up front. That's a little bit more mobile than Lewandowski or Benzema or whoever, you know, Harry Kane or whoever. So I do think that this is a fairly decent pack. Last but not least, we do have Dumfries. I mean, Dumfries is good. He's got a solid engine on him, unwavering form. And as I always like to have a right back that has got blocker, which is quite nice. He doesn't really have any other stats, but he is down as an offensive fullback. So I definitely would train up him defensively if you're playing him as a right back. But yeah, the picks from are Ronaldo, I would say uh, Zelinski, and I would also say Klosterman for the uniqueness. Vidal is quite slow as well. But that is it for me, lads. I will be on my live stream later testing a few of these players out and uh, doing reviews in-game. So if you want to be into that, uh, make sure and keep an eye on when I go live. It'll be probably a couple of hours from now. So that's it for me, lads. I will talk to you in a bit. Happy spinning, if you do spin. I mean, these players are kind of average if you've already got a BC squad. But if you're starting off, I mean, they are pretty good players with a 365-day contract. So, yeah. All right, lads, I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.